Oh, I'll come back down the plot, as you can see, it's absolutely pouring it down. But it's the only chance I've got to get something done. So I'm going to take the rest of these collies out because I want the bed emptied now. So I'll some are ready, some aren't quite that big. So well, I've got a little bit more than I expected. So might as well uh, cut my losses and uh, just clear the bed ready for something else. I'll just leave the net on for now. You get hacking, so I don't know what you can see. I'll have a look. Just move you back a tad. There, you got you under a bucket actually, I'm not trying to keep water off you. And this one here is, is way behind, so I've got more to go in somewhere on here. I'm going to just clear this bed. Might just snap these greens down and take the heads off for now. So, you've got a collie there. Not the best, but it's a collie. I have to get a knife for that. The older. Knife off a YouTube user or a subscriber. Maybe a tiny one here. I mean, it's not worth waiting for him. Well there you have it, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven heads, there's three plants, well four plants I've not bothered letting uh, form one, so I might as well just get the bed emptied and concentrate on using the rest of the season to try and uh, get something else, so I'm going to put these somewhere dry for now and carry on.
Well, I've just stuck a bit of a uh, blood fishing bone, some chicken manure pellets on this, give it a bit of a stabbing with the hole. Just in case I've uh, decided to plant something in this, which I probably will. Just in case of uh, making it fairly flat. Because we've got plenty of rain, that should help settle it down. Shouldn't be too bad, it's not like I'm growing sprouts in it, so I don't have to firm it down too much. Just with having cauliflower in it, it's a fairly hungry crop. And all this I'd put on it really is leaves and cardboard. You know, earlier on in the year. And then a lot of problem with moles. But uh, hopefully they will get off now. Seem to be okay. No fun doing this in the rain, but it was just way too hot the other day, from one extreme to the other. So, uh, take the plunge and get out and do it. Plus it gives me a chance to come and check on potatoes and blights here, but not got a proper hold yet. So my missus is here, she's down yonder picking blueberries. So it's a, it's a real big helper coming down. To be honest, it's been a, a real struggle this year keeping up. So at least I've got someone, someone there who can help, which is uh, very nice. Very helpful. Rather than when I get used to get earache for it all the time. Probably just walk over it a bit now, I think, just to make sure it's stuck down. I don't want it to suddenly go dry for a few days and dry it right out. So, give it a quick uh, treading down. It's not ideal because it'll stick to my boots, I'm about 10 foot high. But, uh, so, you, can, you don't really compact it that badly with raised beds because it's not soil. But like when you do it with topsoil, it sets rock hard. It kind of remains a bit spongy. That's the theory anyway. It does get pretty hard, which I don't mind because brassicas do like it fairly hard. So I've got, got some more winter brassica stuff to go in. Well, late season, so it's just a case of what's free to put stuff in. And this happens to be a free bed, so... I might as well use it. It's not even August yet, so it's not no point sheeting it up. down there and just level it out on top now. I 
mean, I'm probably going to get weed problems now because everything's in the seed time. Yes, there's a blow on here. It's just uh, another thing I'll, uh, I'll deal with as it goes. Well, luckily, I mean, the plants I've got to go in are some of them are a fair size, so they should uh, out compete any weeds, hopefully. around the edge of the web now. Have it back at wreck, get it cleaned up. Voila, it's another bed good to go. Oh, no, a brew now. Do the same to this bed now. I'm going to get it emptied. There's a few cabbages which I'm going to harvest. The broccoli side sheets are just bust now, so might as well the same again. Clear this bed because I've got stuff I can get in it. And uh, the cabbage will keep for a while. I wrap it in cling film anyway. You know, it's good, keeps for a good four or five weeks, so it doesn't get used up. There's one that's, you know, shot the top open for the seed, so I won't bother keeping that. Overall, I've had a fair bit out of this bed. It's kind of worked okay. Just clearing it in the rain, which is a bit of a pain. Not so Take the net off, I'm not going to remove it completely. In case I need a, whatever goes back in here is going to need a net to cover it. Same again, really, just slide it up to the centre cane. The top, twist it over there, same at the other end. Daddy long legs are about, so that means they've all hatched. A bit of luck, they'll, uh, they'll bugger off and go and lay their eggs in grassland rather than back in my beds again. Goes me hassle with leather jackets next year. I think that's kind of uh, not so bad latch for you, some of these pegs, and just wedge them in here and there, it keeps the net. Kind of wrapped up, sort of. Let's get this end here and wrap it around a few times. Like so. Right, so I'll get my cabbages out first. I'll just peel them back to what's good. A bit manky on top here. Just take it back to a clean apart. Where the top's kind of right a bit on it, so you just keep taking it back. Do you find a good clean head? I'll use that in the rain for a bit while I'm here, just to what rinse off and then I'll just go in with a knife. Cabbage, there's one. Put that down here on the grass for now. Another one here. And that just peel it all back. I'm 
this a little bit bigger. That's another one. I'll crack on with the other ones. That one's a bit holy and rotten, so I'll leave that be. I mean, this other one here, it's, uh, I'll lock it off, so I'm going to keep it now. I'll attempt to. I'll come and show it you. That's the one that I cut the cross in. I like said, it's started to form, you know, the, the smaller cabbages. So I've got to left it long enough. Then I've got some more, but like I say, I need it out. And complimentary bug there as well, so just give him a bit of a squeeze. Don't want him hanging around. This is a smaller head here. Good firm on that one. Doesn't look massive, but I know you can see that. That's a good hard firm head, that. I've got a few heads to go at, but it's not all lost. I'll just clear the rest of the stuff now. this rusty garlic now uh, it's a lot of it started toppling now so it's all pretty much it's ready to go so I'll just um, see how it is it should be I should get a you know there should be some on them anyway so uh, it's just not pleasant in the pouring rain it's really chucking it down now but so I've got to use the time that I've got and uh, get it up so it's going to be a, a pretty quick reveal of garlic and uh, you'll see in the next coming videos probably when it's out in the drying rack drying out and stuff but uh, hopefully it's not a complete fail, but uh, as again, you know, rust has come in, the tops are yellow as anything. Um, so the rust has gone black now, it shouldn't affect storage, you know, it didn't last year, you know, I've still got a couple of bulbs left, but it's a lovely waft of garlic coming from this anyway. So I've got my fork, I'm trying to get this lifted up. I'll keep the camera running as long as I can, I've still got a bucket over the top of it now, trying to keep some of the rain off, but it's really chucking it down now. So. Uh, it's no fun, but it's got to be done. The variety is solid white. Uh, I did actually plant it a little bit later than I usually do. But like I say, I'll get a bit of a bit of a harvest. Well, it's just a case of I don't really want to dig the beds, but I just want to try and loosen it. You know, not uh, not massive, bigger than a golf ball. So it's got to be cleaned up a bit. Yeah, I'm going to wash wash off and that. And we'll just uh, get on with the rest of these. Get a loose a rope at a time, I think. You know, because they are quite deep rooters. See what we get. I don't really want to bring too much soil to the top, but it's kind of inevitable when the roots have got old. I 
I don't mind if they're all this sort of size to be honest. It's a little bit of a small one but it's fine, I don't mind. I've actually done more garlic than I did last year, so it's, it's been plenty enough to last. Another good old pong of garlic coming now. Beautiful, be horrible route there. Don't know what's that's off. I'll get rid of it either way. So it's all about emptying stuff out and freeing up beds now to either plant some more or start considering covering some up well got around the bottoms of them. So they've had a good uh, good wash off they'll be alright. Hopefully they'll come up a nice white colour. Hopefully. I'll give them a quick wash while I'm here. But, uh, I'll give them another wash probably tomorrow. I'm just going to watch you don't get uh, rust balls passing on to my leaks and everything at home. Right there, the soil, but the sweetie wrapper there. I think what's happened is the stuff tunneling in it early in the year, it's uh, just filled things with air pockets, which hasn't helped. You know, because there's no manure that went on, it just, just leaves, the cardboard. I've got my beetroot still at the other end of the bed. Which I'll probably leave for now. I'm back here in a few days, hopefully. Start planting stuff out. That's that right. So it doesn't bother me about walking on the beds. Got a good old.
somebody's uh, lifted their onions on another plot and uh, left them out to dry. I've got a feeling they've gone on holiday. Not realise it's horrendous rain. Throw it over there. I think the onions will be coming up soon because the mildew's taking a, a good hold of the red onions. I'm not going to take them out tonight, I've not got time. So they'll appear in a video in due course. Due uh, a good week of rain now, as far as I know. Get them in the bucket. I'm wet through. I'm not even sure what date is, I think it's 27th or 28th of July. Well, these are about, about three weeks later than last year, I think. I like to try and get them in the ground in sort of February. I think it was about April, I think, this year. Serious roots growing off some of the so I don't know what it is. Probably off this Virginia creeper behind me, so I have to keep an eye on that. The joy now is the smell of garlic. It's no fun doing this at all. At least the beds shouldn't be empty for for long before I get something else in them. I'll check my camera still recording. Yep, you're still recording. <sighs> oh, Virginia creepers creeping on the bed. Give that a bit of a shearing back next time on here.
No, they're not a bad size. That was the run to the pack. That's the garlic gun for this year. I'll wash it off and you'll uh, you'll see it in the next few weeks in the drying rack drying away. Right, I'm cracking with another job now. Right, well that kind of wraps this video up. I'm just going to take the uh, tops off the Maris Piers. I'm not going to bother filming that because um, I'm soaking wet now and I've had enough to, for tonight to be honest. So, cauliflower and the cabbage, they've gone over to the van. Just give me garlic a quick wash. I need to take it back to a single skin and give it another wash tomorrow uh, when I go from work. So that's another job to do. Uh, blueberries, going up with another four punnets. Four of them. So I think currently I'm about, about 14 or 15 pounds of blueberries I've had in total. And there's still more to go. So I usually end up uh, around the, you know, the 20, to, uh, 20 to 25 pound mark I get off the six bushes altogether. Whether that's in kilo, 11, 12 kilo. Um, so for six little bushes, they, uh, they're worth the money. I think, I, I think I paid about seven pound a bush for them uh, when I bought them nine years ago. And they've been transplanted uh, three times now, I think. Yeah, three times. They came from the old plot to here, which they were in a bed here. If you see some of the old videos, that's where they were in a bed here. And then um, they got transplanted into the cage over there, which I'm going to move three of them again a little bit closer because I'm, I'm not going to extend the fruit cage. Not for a bit yet, anyway. I don't know what's happening with this plot because you don't want to spend too much time you know, or money doing stuff because you never quite know when the landowner's going to say, you know, they're shutting up shop, which can happen because an allotment isn't forever, you know, as much as you wish it was sometimes because you could just get on and get it how you like it and you don't mind spending the time, but when... Uh, when there's always that cloud of doubt over the following year, you're kind of hesitant to uh, commit too much into it. But uh, so far this year, you know, as it's kind of been played by ear, it's not been really planned, I was a bit late with things. Uh, overall, I've done all right, you know, there's, there's plenty of garlic here. You know, not my best, but it's definitely not my worst. You know, there's, just, there's plenty. I can't remember how many I did now, whether it's something like 65 or 70. Uh, there's a few more than I did last year, so they'll last me. Uh, there's none as big as last year. I've got a few right clonkers last year, which I used to seed for these. So I'll just save me, you know, some of the bigger ones, which are that size, which are, are, are ample. And I'll just save four or five of them, and they'll be me uh, seeds for next year. Well, me, me things for planting next year. So that's it for this video. Um, next one, we'll be digging some spuds up, um, probably planting some things. Say, weather permitting. Uh, it's hard to video in the rain, you know, because you want to just get on and you don't want to get your gear damaged. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care and I will see you next time. See you now. Bye.